Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday, the Friday kind of before um, Christmas, right? Because next Friday is Christmas Eve. Oh my gosh, there's some, um, okay, I don't know what that's saying. You can now add three guests to your broadcast. Okay, maybe that means like we could have three of us on here at once. I don't know. Is that silly thing going to be like there the whole time? Monica, hello. Okay, I don't know what's going on. There's like this blue um, pop-up and it won't go away. So it's going to like cover up everyone's like names and comments. That's going to be so annoying. But okay, I'm going to deal with it. So yeah, how is everybody doing? I got my funny, okay, it's kind of my ugly Christmas sweater. It's it's actually kind of cute, right? With I'm like trying to lift it up. It's like a little penguin guy. Um, and actually the funny thing was, as I was looking at this, I'm like, you know, Stampin' Up! might have gotten the inspiration for their Penguin Playmates Designer Series paper from this sweater, because it kind of looks like like the little pumpkins, right? From, <laughs> or not pumpkins, the little penguins. <laughs> Hello, Nancy, good morning, um, from that Designer Series paper. So I don't know, there's something weird going on with my phone, but I'm gonna try not to like um, be bothered by it, because you guys probably can't see it, so hopefully um, it's just me. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so, I decided I'm wearing my like ugly Christmas sweater. I wore it to a party last weekend um, and it was kind of fun. And I'm like, you know what? You don't get to wear these sweaters very much. So I'm like, all right, I'm wearing it today on Facebook Live. And so I thought, okay, in honor of, um, well, cute slash ugly slash, it's, it's kind of cute, but kind of gaudy. And honestly, the sequiny stuff, like everything, like every time I reach for something, like, like I'm getting stuck to it. So <laughs> it's kind of funny, a little interactive, I guess the sweater is. Um, but I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun with the ugly Christmas sweater um, contest, I guess I'll call it. Or, and it doesn't even have to be ugly, but maybe your favorite, your most favorite, your beautiful Christmas sweater. I would love, like in the comments, if you guys have a picture of you, you and your family, you and your friends in your ugly Christmas sweaters, or your beautiful Christmas sweaters. I would love to see those pictures and I know everyone else would too. It kind of help us all maybe get in the holiday spirit. So post them right here on our Facebook group. If you got them right now, put them in the comments. If not, post them on our Facebook group right here on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. And I've decided, I was like, what am I going to do? I'm going to do a contest. So I'm gonna put everybody's names in the drawing. I'm gonna do the next Facebook Live. So next Friday is uh, Christmas Eve. So mm, we're not doing Facebook Live next Friday, but I am, I was like, you know what? We're gonna do it. On New Year's Eve, we are doing it. I am sure I will be sporting my maize and blue that day because Michigan has a big game that I, against Georgia. We fingers crossed that that all goes well for the maize and blue. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so we will do a, our next Facebook Live will be on Friday, December 31st at 11.30, and we will draw one winner, everyone that posts pictures, like I said, of their ugly or beautiful, your most favorite Christmas sweater, um, your name is going to go in a drawing, and I'm going to give away one of our new celebration products on that Facebook Live. So super excited about that. Can't wait um, for that. It just came to me as I was working out this morning. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're going to do this fun contest. So yes, hello, Monica. Um, so what else is going on? Oh, you guys want to hear about what we're going to do um, today on Facebook Live? Let's see. What are we going to play with? Um, we are going to play with, I went back, you know, last week I was like, oh, Christmas, I can't do it anymore. But this week I was like, oh, I, there are just some things we haven't had to chance to play with enough yet. So we are back to Christmas this week featuring, this is the fun Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. Lots of great sentiments in here. If you don't have this set, you still have time to get it. Um, it's not sold out as far as I know. I did look last night, um, at least as of last night, it was not sold out. Things are selling out though, so make sure you get what you want out of our uh, July to December mini catalog because um, there were some other things I went to order and bummer that they were already sold out for people. But great stamp set. So Holly Jolly Wishes, we have, um, I'm gonna read these sentiments to you. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Be of good cheer. Tis the season to be jolly. Merry Christmas to you. 
Jingle all the way. I love that one. Fa la 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 la. I'm not sure if they said enough laws, but you get the idea, right? Have a holly jolly Christmas and it's the most wonderful time of year. So great stamp set. This is what we're going to play with today. And I paired it with, I made some very simple Christmas cards with the idea that, you know, maybe you still need to make a couple more Christmas cards. If you're like me, um, still have a few more Christmas cards to make and mail out. Hello, Philomena. Um, so at this point, you probably want some pretty simple cards. So I've got some beautiful, simple cards to share with you today. We are also going to use, actually, it's probably better to look on this page, isn't it? But the painted Christmas designer series paper. I don't even have a full pack because it's all pulled apart. Um, I'm making more cards with this designer series paper, but you can see you get a better idea of that painted Christmas designer series paper um, in the projects that are right there on that page. So we're going to just play with some beautiful things today. I'm super excited to share those with you. So yes, and speaking of sharing, hello, Diana, and Philomena just shared the Facebook Live video. So thank you very much for the share of the video as well. Always appreciate those shares, lady. Love reaching out and finding new friends that want to come hang out with us and stamp with us and play with cute stuff, right? So, okay, let's see. What else? I always have my list. And I'm like, why do I always have to refer to my list too? Maybe I could be like more sly and you guys don't know I have a list, but <laughs> I'm just always laying my cards all out there, I guess. Um, yeah, so we kind of talked about just make sure. Um, I'm going to give one more plug because this is about the... <laughs> Thank you, Philomena. You missed it. By my, um, I think I, maybe if I stand back, you guys can see it better, right? <laughs> Hi, Lisa. How are you? There. You can see my penguin. Um, Philomena, you missed it. We're going to do a fun um, contest. If you have an ugly sweater or a beautiful sweater, anyway, any Christmas sweater, picture of you, you and your family, you and your friends um, in your Christmas sweaters, post them right here in our Facebook group, and I'm going to give away a new celebration product. We're going to talk about that in just a couple minutes, um, but yes, <laughs> thank you. I was like, okay, don't get to wear this enough. I'm, I already said it, but you guys just are popping on, so here I am repeating myself but anyway so we're just having some fun I'm like kind of bouncing off the walls also because oh my gosh so my son Cade um, he has had a really tough first semester he um, I always say he thinks because I'm like oh can't even believe um, but he thinks he wants to major in engineering and he sat had some like butt kicking classes already this very first semester and he has really really struggled to the point of like you know am I gonna pass or not a couple of like chemistry and a calculus class it was funny not funny but when I saw his schedule when he came home um, you know, with like, okay, this or you know, showed me, I guess, probably he came out, it was online. He doesn't come home with those things anymore, right? It's all online. But basically the list of classes that he was going to take his very first semester, his freshman year, I was like, whoa, buddy, this is going to be a huge eye opening. And it has been. And I think um, he had his last chemistry exam this morning at 9 a.m. And he texted me and he's like, I don't know how I did, mom. And this is like a kind of a pass or fail situation at this point. So it's really stressful for him. Um, hello, Susan. Um, but you know, I'm just like praying, like just stay positive, keep your head up, keep working hard, keep studying, talk to your professor. He's, he's spent a lot of time with his professors and his tutors and study groups. And like, as long as you're doing everything you can, that's all that you can do. But um, yeah, so he's been pretty stressed out. This was like exam week at Hope College, like a lot of other colleges, I'm sure. Um, but he's coming home today. He had one more assignment he had to get done and he had to go get one more workout in at his favorite gym and then he is coming home. So I think that's why I'm also like bouncing off the walls because Kate hasn't been home in a while and he's super excited. He's ready to not eat dorm food anymore for a long. <laughs> he could probably never eat dorm food again and he'd be happy with that. So anyway, yeah, just super excited to have him home. Um, so hello, Kay. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I think that's why I'm just like, I'm like, like I said, bouncing off the walls today. So hopefully you guys are catching a little bit of the spirit and the energy and are um, excited for today's Facebook Live and for the holidays and the sun is shining. So that's always awesome. So hello, Kay. Thank you for sharing all the way down in North Carolina. So, okay, what I guess I just want to make sure is one more time, and we've got the glare because the sun is shining, um, but the mini catalog, January, or no, the July to December mini catalog, just get anything that you want out of here before it is gone. You have until 
Um, and I tried to read this the other day too in that super small print. It's like January 1st or 2nd. Maybe it's the 3rd actually because celebration and our next catalog starts on January 4th. So this probably runs through January 3rd. But things are selling out already. So get what you want. If you haven't already, make sure you order from our mini catalog there. We're going to have to like move the table very soon, aren't I? So yeah, just don't don't let these things slip you by if there's something and at this point obviously maybe you you know it might be too late to make things for this year but there's something um, a favor of yours that you want to use and make um, projects for next year too get it while you can okay um let's see oh i want to show you guys i've got some beautiful christmas cards that i have received from um, customers friends my team um so this first one it says Blessed Christmas wishes, and it obviously captures the spirit of the reason for the season, right? Um, love all the beautiful sparkly, um, the shimmer, right? It's like the silver shimmer paper. And this one says, for unto us a child is born. Merry Christmas from Charlene. So that's on the inside of the card. And I love the navy blue. Navy blue and white with that silver is always such a striking combination. So thank you, Charlene, for your beautiful Christmas card. And then I have another, another beautiful, it's like the um, winter dove, right? That maybe the Christmas dove. <laughs> it's beautiful and love the designer series paper. Lori, hello, how are you? Um, that uh, Carolyn paired with this, um, <clears throat> with this Christmas dove, the peace, joy, and love. And she says, may your season be filled with all the wonder and blessings of Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas, Carolyn. And then she did some um, stamping on the inside too. So thank you, Carolyn, for that holiday card. I'm trying to like keep them out of the way. And then I have one more from Maria Warren, who is um, one of our Inkspired Stampers, one of our team members. This one says, may the beauty of the season bring you joy and warm memories to cherish throughout the year. Um, I'm glad you're doing well, Lori. I'm like, I feel like <laughs> I'm trying to avoid um, the glare so that I can see too. And I love, so this is that gold shimmer ribbon. Love. I didn't get to play with that as much. It was on back order for a while, but I think it's carrying over. There are like a handful of things that are carrying over not too many sorry this is <laughs> i feel like like where is she <laughs> all right so yeah now can you see that card isn't that beautiful love that and i love how she so the gold really kind of made like the tans and the browns really like pop too this was a different color combination i think that i haven't used before so i was really excited to see that too and then on the inside she's got from merry christmas from our family to yours have a wonderful holiday season merry christmas maria and then she, I love that too, just using a little strip because we all end up with those little extra strips of designer series paper. Just put that on the inside of your card and it decorates it right up. Just that little extra bit there, right? So thank you guys. Love getting handmade cards for Christmas. I know we all do, right? So thank you guys for thinking of me and sending those Christmas cards. And if I get more as I get them, I'll share them on our next Facebook Live. Okay, um, let's do, let's do our first drawing. There is something weird. I, I'm so afraid to like touch. Oh no. <laughs> now, did I turn it sideways? I knew I shouldn't have done that. Let's see, I wonder. Oh, that's not gonna be it either. Now you can see the outside of the house. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I did that. There is something weird. Okay, you guys, you know what I'm gonna do? Am I gonna turn this off? Cause I don't know if there's a way or turn your heads away for a sec. Maybe I can, if I'm like screwing around with the phone. There, is that gonna work? It doesn't like it. Rotate, I'm trying to rotate it. <laughs> Sorry, you guys are, this is probably, I don't even know what you're seeing right now. Why won't, it's like it won't flip my phone. Turn it, you can't turn your phone. Oh, while you're filming. Oh, is that what it's saying? You can't turn your phone while you're recording. Well, it did though, that's the crazy thing. Okay, huh. <laughs> is it sideways for everybody? Sorry, like major technical difficulties. Um, yeah, you were okay before. Am I sideways now? It's like I can't even like figure out how to get me in view here either. Oh my goodness. Maybe I am gonna have to like turn it off and come back on. I think I'm gonna, okay? 
because I can't even like see comments now. Okay, doing well, shared, all right. <clears throat> you were okay before, it's right. No, <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> I um, am like super sideways to me and I'm not gonna be able to do that, am I? I'm trying to think of what all do we have to, what all do I have to do? Should, maybe I should flip the camera down and maybe, I don't even know if that's gonna work. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have touched my phone. Let's see, it says you're fine, huh? So it's just me? All right, well, sorry, that glare is so bad. Okay, really? Because I have to do this to like see myself. It's right, no, okay, okay. Well, maybe it's just my phone, okay. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. <laughs> yes, it's just you, okay. All right, well, oh my gosh. Okay, I think I can do this. Like literally, I'm looking at myself sideways. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Everything's fine, okay. I'm just worried about what it's gonna look like when I flip my camera down, but if you guys can see what's going on, then we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so we're gonna do our first drawing for sharing the video. I've got my names in here. What are we giving away? We have the paper lattice to give away. I just can't tell whether I'm in view or not. So, okay, just bear with me, guys. If it's crazy, this is just how it's gonna be today. So yes, the paper lattice, is it in the glare? Yeah, can you guys even see it? <laughs> oh my gosh. So that's what we're gonna give away today on our Facebook Live for sharing the video and signing up for my email list. I'm gonna have to keep doing this. Okay, it's just me. What's weird is I'm not sure if the comments are, okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Teresa, hi. <laughs> okay, this is like Amy's comedy hour today, sorry. If you needed a little comic relief, ladies, I am here for you, let me tell you. Okay, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so here we go. I mean, like, I can feel like a few of them bunched up, so I gotta get them separated, okay. So our lucky winner for sharing the Facebook Live video or signing up for my email list is, I have one, hand, one in my hand, Miss Sabina Miller. Oh goodness, can you guys even see that? <laughs> okay, so I promise it says Sabina. So Sabina, I will have the paper lattice out on um, the porch for you to pick up this afternoon anytime. So stop by and grab that. So congratulations, Miss Sabina. And what are we gonna give away on our next Facebook Live? So two weeks from today, again, on Friday, December 31st, the last day of 2021, we will be giving away the, um, these are called the Wonderful Gems. There, is that better? No, it's not. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I just can't even stand this, you guys. Okay, so yes, the wonderful gems. Can you guys see those? They're the red and the clear kind of champagne-y gems. It looks totally um, like a glare to me. So you guys know what they are though, right? So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live are the wonderful gems for sharing the Facebook Live video and signing up for my email list. So we will do that. Beautiful, love those gems. You know me, love all gems, right? <clears throat> Okay, um, so what else are we gonna do? Oh, I know. So Kay, I'm trying to think if I saw her name on here. I don't think I saw her pop on here yet. But yes, Miss Kay Jacoby just promoted to Bronze Elite. I just looked at reports late last night and I was like, oh my gosh, Kay, she did it. So she just bought the starter kit during the um, last celebration that we had like August, September, and she has already reached Bronze Elite status, which means she has $1,800 in sales. She gets a 25% discount on all of her orders now. She also did it within the Stampin' Up! Quick Start time frame, which let me take a sec to explain that too. So Quick Start, when you buy the starter kit, Stampin' Up! gives you an incentive to get to your first $900 in sales and then your first $1,800 in sales. If you get to $900 in sales within your first full three months, you get a $50 shopping spree from Stampin' Up! And she did that. And then, then she got to $1,800 in sales. 
and reached her second quick start level. Do that within six months of getting the starter kit and Stampin' Up! gives you a hundred dollar shopping spree. So she's gotten tons of like fun free product from Stampin' Up! She also, like I said, gets that 25% discount off of all of her orders now. And then I love to reward my team members as well. So she also gets a $50 shopping spree from me and a beautiful charm necklace or keychain with charms inside of it. And then we keep adding charms as people promote um, to higher levels as well. So congratulations, Kay. I know she's been working hard at that and just, yeah, just working hard. So congratulations. It's fun to see hard work pay off, right? That's what I've been telling my son too. So <laughs> hopefully he passed that chemistry exam also. Oh, <laughs> so stressful. Um, let's see. I think, because I just, <laughs> my gosh, this is driving me nuts. Okay, what do we have? Philomena says, oh, she says, congratulations, Kay. So can you guys get that, that I have to keep turning my head? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, my phone. <clears throat> um, let's see, what are we going to do now? We're gonna do our next drawing, okay? So we are going to give away the Little Delights stamp set. If you put an online order in of at least $30, your name is in the drawing to win the Little Delights stamp set. Um, let me get those switched out real quick. The name's in this one. We are right here we go. Um, what else do I need? The rest of the names. Okay, got those. Oh, also, you you automatically get these two projects that I demonstrated on our last, is that right side up? There we go. On our last Facebook Live, you're going to get both of these projects mailed to you as a thank you. If you bumped your order up to $50, you also got to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for December or the free embellishments. Either one is yours, your choice with a $50 order. And now your name is in the drawing to win the Little Delights stamp set. So who is going to win this stamp set? Oh my goodness, okay, shaking these names around. Okay, I'm gonna make sure they're separated. All right, I have one name in my hand. <laughs> okay, it is your lucky day. She actually puts, put an order in through me as well, which I think is just craziness. So Kay, Miss Kay Jacoby is also the winner of the Little Delight stamp set. So Kay, I will get that stamp set sent out to you. Congratulations. Oh, she's so funny. Um, Yeah, okay. So we got there. All right, Susan, yes, congratulations. Very sweet, ladies. I love seeing you're so gracious in your congratulations. So because we're going to have a couple weeks um, to put orders in, I thought, let's give a couple things away. So on our next Facebook Live, again, on December 31st, New Year's Eve, we are going to give away two different stamp sets. I have the Candy Cane background stamp set that is already sold out. You cannot get this stamp set any longer. And the beautiful, this is the Amaryllis A Bloom stamp set. And let's see, we've got wishing you a beautiful season, sending lots of love, so proud of you. We don't have a sentiment like that very often. And then happiest, happiest of days to you. And then some beautiful imagery. I have no idea whether you guys can see this. If I do that just like that, I feel like you can see that stamp set. I don't know, it's driving me nuts that I can't, <laughs> that I'm sideways. <laughs> All right, so we will give those away on our next Facebook Live. I will give you the host code. You guys know it's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com as well, okay? Um, I think the only other thing I want to tell you guys about is I am working on, I don't have all the details um, figured out quite yet, but I am going to do a designer series paper share with the next January to June mini catalog. So I can't show you the inside yet. This is always like a big no-no. I can show you the outside of the catalog. So if you need one of these catalogs, please let me know. I finally got them in the mail from Stampin' Up. I am, there are some out on the porch. So if you stop by, you're welcome to pick up the celebration cat, the brochure as well. This is the celebration brochure um, for, starts January 4 through February 28th, okay? So we've got the celebration brochure and then the January to June mini catalog. These are both out on the porch in the tub. I think I am preserving them well enough. Um, if they're not in the tub, then I don't know what's going to happen with all the 
wind and we haven't had snow but I think we're supposed to get a little bit this weekend but anyway they're out in the tub on the porch if you're local and you want to stop by and pick those up I would love for you to do that if you are not local and you would like me to mail them to you I would be happy to do that um, please let me know just send me a message and let me know that you need those catalogs mailed to you and Laura is watching. Hello, Miss Laura. How are you? I'm sideways today, Laura, so that's why I keep doing this, <laughs> trying to see who, who is watching with me. Um, so yeah, if you need catalogs, let me know. Celebration is coming. Another one starting January 4th. So be lots of fun new things to play with. I will show you guys. I didn't get a chance to open this, but I love this is the Sunshine and Rainbows. It is a six by six designer series paper. I've been playing with this already and having lots of fun. It's just beautiful, like sunshiny, bright paper. And actually, you know what? Because I'm hoping I'm going to be able to see it better. I'm going to wait. This is, um, can you guys even see that? I don't know, the glare is so bad. I'm going to flip the camera down and I'll show you that in just a sec because I think that might work better. So let's do that. I think we're ready to flip the camera down. Let me get myself organized just a moment here. Scoot these things out of the way. Okay, yeah, so turn your heads away. We're gonna fly through the air and hopefully, um, it's probably not gonna be right still. <clears throat> I flip that. There, so it's totally sideways for me still. <laughs> okay, I'm, hmm. so tell me if, does it, is it good for you guys right now? Um, like if I, does that look straight up and down to you? I'm hoping that it does, right? Like those are rainbows going like that, right? I think maybe it's just my orientation somehow. So, but it'll be, there's less glare down here. So that's part of why I wanted to do it this way, right? Okay, so here is, there's that. Let's see, Nikki, hello. Okay, you guys, it's fine. All right, good. If you guys could see what I could see, you would understand why I'm like going bonkers. Okay, so there's that side of the paper. Can you guys see both of them? So fun, sunshiny, bright. Look at all those beautiful colors. And then um, the little clouds. Aren't, isn't that so cute with like little sunbursts in the clouds, right? And then some fun, oops, some stripes. There's that little pink print. So isn't, it's just, it's gonna brighten your day playing with this paper. I love the stripes and the polka dots. Those are my favorites, I'm sure. And more rainbows. Just lots of beautiful, fun, oops, bright colors. And then there's the back side of those, right? Oh yeah, and then there's this little, those little also. I have a couple more pieces right in there too. So this is one of the items you can get for free during celebration right now. This cute six by six pack of designer series paper called Sunshine and Rainbows. So that starts January 4th, okay? You'll be able to get, and so many cute things. I wish I could show you again here because this is gonna make me feel better. This is the celebration, starts January 4, goes through the end of February. And then the mini catalog, our January to June mini catalog, some beautiful, fun, springy. Look at that ribbon. I think it's evening evergreen um, and white. Super cool. Actually, yeah, you guys can see that, right? because <laughs> I feel like you can't the way I'm looking at it. Um, anyway, but yeah, if you need catalogs, let me know. I'd be happy to get those sent out to you. Okay, so I want to just do a quick reminder because the Plentiful Plants class to go, um, RSVPs are going to be due next Thursday, which is December 23rd. And since I won't be doing Facebook Live next week, I just wanted to make sure everybody knows these are the four projects that you can make in that class to go. Kits are actually not going to ship out until the beginning of the year. Uh, January 5th is my drop dead. We'll have these shipped out by date. Um, so you don't have to worry about them like for the holidays. It'll be a fun project that you can work on the beginning of the new year. Okay. Um, Okay, I'm still looking at comments. <laughs> Good, everybody can see, I'm just making sure. All right, so yeah, these are the four cards. I'll show you them real quick. We've got to a dear friend, a littlest note with the biggest thanks. We've got a thank you, and then this one is blank on the outside, and then I put a thank you so very much on the inside. So beautiful set of cards. Um, let me show you, these are the products that you'll need. We have the Plentiful Plants stamp set, 
awesome stamp set and then beautiful set of dies. These are the perfect plants dies that coordinate perfectly. Perfectly, All of the images in here can be die cut um, with our dies and then great sentiments there as well, right? So option number one includes the bundle, the stamp set and the dies. It also includes a full pack of the Genial Gems, a full pack of the Essentials Baker's Twine Combo Pack, and then a half a pack of the, what is it even called? The, mm, the Designer Series Paper, the, the Blooming, <laughs> Plentiful Plants Blooming Designer Series Paper or something like that. And you're gonna need that to make your projects. Okay, let's see, we've got Debbie watching now, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's still sideways, so I have to keep like turning my head to see who, who's hanging out with us. Um, yeah, and actually the designer series paper you get for free with option number one. Um, you also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. Option number one, because you get the Mac Daddy bundle is $89. Option number two is if you already have the Plentiful Plants bundle, the stamp set and the dies, don't get the option number two if you don't have these because you need to do your own stamping and die cutting. Um, let's see, option number two includes the twine, the gems, and a half a pack of the designer series paper that you'll use on your cards, plus the PDF tutorial. Option number two is $40.00. Then if you need things shipped to you for option number one and option number two, it's an additional $9 for priority mail shipping. If you don't need it shipped, I just put it out on the porch and then that shipping fee is waived. Option number three is for the PDF tutorial. Um, if you just want to know how to put everything together, you're going to do it on your own. That option is $15 and it is always available even after the RSVP deadline passes. And then option number four is for my Inspired Stampers team. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. They get the designer series paper, they get the gems, they get the twine. They just need their own stamp set and dies to do their stamping and die cutting. Option number four is $12. They also, anyone in my team gets my PDF tutorials for free every single month. Um, so let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, um, RSVPs are due by next Thursday, December 23rd, and the kits will ship out no later than January 5th. And let's see, I've got a, oh, hello, Rita and Amy Jo. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're all doing well. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to get one of these class to go kits shipped out to you or put out on the porch for pickup. I'd love to do that for you. Okay, check in my notes. I'm gonna grab the host code because I know I wanna give you guys that, right? This is, oh, this is gonna be crazy. Now I'm not gonna be sure whether things are in view or not. So tell me if you can't see something, all right? I know I keep asking that. Um, this host code is also always on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com, okay? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm trying to get everything scooted out of the way. So I think I'm good. We are going to make our projects. So I need my grid paper. All right, so I am just going to hope and pray <laughs> that we are in view, okay? All right, here we go. So project number one, like I said, these are simple but beautiful cards featuring that, um, what is it called again? The Painted Christmas Designer Series Paper, such beautiful paper, and then the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. Was I going to, no, I did show you guys that. I was like, wasn't I going to show you guys something else when I flipped the camera down? But I did, so. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, so the fun Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. So here we go. We've got our Merry Christmas to you is what we used on there. And my most favorite, the red sheer ribbon that is retiring. It just makes the most absolutely perfect, beautiful bows, I think. Okay, so let me show you how we are going to make this card. Kind of a simple little fun fold we've got going here, too. Okay, <clears throat> so we start with a piece of real red cardstock. Actually, that's gonna go this way, isn't it? I got myself mixed up because I cut off a little bit. So the card base, oops, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the, what was an eight and a half, I actually trimmed it down to seven and a half inches. So now along the seven and a half inch 
mark or um, side, we still scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's your card base. That's what that is gonna look like right there, right? Then we have a piece of Whisper White cardstock for the inside of our card. And this piece measures the very standard four by five and a quarter. That is the little layer that I use all the time on the inside of my cards. Um, and then we have a piece of designer series paper the painted Christmas designer series paper. Beautiful, really subtle pattern on the other side there, right? This one measures three inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then I just have some other scrap pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, so we need, oops, that one's gonna go right there too. Okay, so I have this piece and this one show you what I also used the Christmas season stamp set so we stamped with this stamp right here and then layered over top of it um, so this one is in pear pizzazz and then this one is in garden green I believe but we're going to double check that when I get my ink pads out so I'm like, oh I gotta make sure I'm pretty sure that yep so we have pear pizzazz and garden green and then our sentiment is in real red okay so let's do our sentiment first and we'll get that Okay, so nice, easy, you guys know the tap, 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 right? We are gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Beautiful, Merry Christmas to you. Love that, right? Okay, so we're gonna die cut that piece. And then on this one, we're gonna stamp first of all in pear pizzazz ink. Okay, so we've got the larger leaf and it's still, I'll show you, at first I was like, it's not stamping right, but it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look a little like weathered and not perfect there, which I love. It makes it look more real, I think. And then with our garden green ink, we're gonna layer over top of this. And I'm not sure if my eyes are gonna focus <laughs> quite the way I need them to, but we're gonna try here. I'm gonna try to get this lined up and it's okay. I did this stamping last night. Ooh, I did a good job. <laughs> Last night I wasn't doing nearly as well, but I like how well that layered right up there. So, okay, so you can see, very simple. These would be cards that would be very easy to just kind of crank right out. Um, if you need some extra holiday cards, right, you can, um, it would be very easy to do that, I think. But they pack a big punch too, I believe. Okay, so now we are gonna do our die cutting and our embossing. And I have brand new cutting plates. You can't even see them, can you? <laughs> love that okay so we got this one and this one so we are going to use these are the dies that coordinate with the christmas season stamp set so you can see like say the pine cones you can die cut those out and then a bunch of the other leaf imagery so we're going to use this little baby right here and then they have the labels these are called the seasonal labels dies, but they also have a bunch of other, you guys have seen these, right? I use these all the time. If you don't have them yet, you have got to get them. They are carrying over, but look at all of the labels too, and then all the imagery that coordinates perfectly with that stamp set, okay? All right, we're gonna slip those right in there. Okay, so we've got, ooh, that is like sticking right on there. We're gonna, I'll get that set in just a sec. I also wanna show you, these are the Hippo and Friends dies, and we're gonna use, so you can see all the great labels. So in addition to the cute little hippo um, imagery, then you've got these awesome labels, more labels. You guys can never have, I use them all the time, right? We're gonna use that largest one right there. Okay, so let's, we're gonna kinda get things lined up. And you guys know if it won't line up, you have to move your paper. That magnetic field, the magnetic attraction of the dies, <laughs> you have to move the paper to, to the point where the magnetic attraction isn't like pulling the dies away, right? You can't fight it, ladies, right? <laughs> Don't we all know that? Okay, so there we go. There, oops, well, that wasn't very smooth, was it? But it does pop right out, right? So there's your Merry Christmas. Okay, and then our little leaf imagery. And it's just beautiful. Kind of love that two-tone stamping on here, right? Isn't a ho? Oh, and I did a good job, didn't I? Die-cutting that, too. Sometimes it moves on me. But I got that one 
did that one well also. So I'm always happy about that. Okay, so we actually need to do a little bit of embossing also. So we're gonna grab our other platform and Let's see, let me find my embossing folder. So these are, are the wintry 3D embossing folders. So we're gonna use this one that looks like pine boughs. And then we've also got these snowflakes here too. Um, so yeah, these are the snowflakes. You kind of get an idea of the fun imagery there, but we are gonna use this other little baby and we're just gonna put it along the one side. Actually, I think I liked this side better. I figured out. So we just want to do about an inch and it's just kind of a ballpark. So we're just going to kind of line that up. If you use that little line right there, that's helpful. We're going to just lay this down right on there and then put our other, because this is one of those 3D embossing folders, we need that other number four 3D embossing plate. Sorry, that is probably wiggling. I'm trying to see any more comments, but I think we're good. Okay. <clears throat> So I'll show you on here. Do you see? So I just kind of embossed along the edge there. Isn't that cool? Love that. And it just kind of peeks out then from the card. Okay, we're gonna move this guy out of the way. And okay, so let me show you. So this is what I decided on is putting that inside there. Well, I'll show you that. Mm, now yeah, here, here's some others. So I kind of went back and forth. I was trying a few different things. And now I can't remember. This is one from the annual catalog, greenery something or other. And I didn't like it quite as well. It was almost a little too busy with, um, it, I was trying to kind of, I thought they kind of mirrored though, the little berries there. So that was kind of fun. And then I thought, oh, maybe we'll just do that, um, the tasteful textile, just to add a little bit of texture. But something about that didn't feel quite right either. So I decided this was the one I wanted to use on this card. But you can see lots of different ideas um, that you could, you know, lots of different embossing folders that you could use on this card. Okay, so let's see, we'll go ahead and add so run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. Might as well put our adhesive on this one too. So let's just get this done and added to our card all at once. Okay, so we've got this goes on the inside. And you could do stamping on the inside if you would like to. I did not in this case, but certainly you could. And we're gonna lay that one right down on there, right? Okay, now I'm gonna add some dimensionals behind our sentiment. And the only thing is you just wanna make sure that they don't go too far over. Oops, oh, that's already like, the backing is kind of coming off. Um, because you don't want these sticking, you know, to that part of the card, right? So I think we're gonna be good with that, right? I'm trying to feel, yep, okay, so we're good there. Let's see, so simple, simple, right? Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad you like this card. I love, it's just this paper, and I had a bunch of it too, and so I was like, ooh, this is what we're gonna play with today. Um, so we're gonna just add a little bit of adhesive, love to use my little silicone mat right there. We're just gonna add that little baby right there. And you see how that really complements, coordinates so nicely. That's such one of the most beautiful parts about Stampin' Up, right, is the coordination of colors and products. So you've got your Pear Pizzazz and Garden Green ink, and they also used Pear Pizzazz and Garden Green ink on the designer series paper. So love, 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 love that. Let's see now, what do we need? Where is my, oh, I'm like, where's my ribbon? I know I have, I've gotten like almost down to the end. Can you guys see that? I'm like literally at the very end, but we will definitely have enough to make one last bow. I have another bolt too. Um, thank goodness, I'm thinking I might need to order another one still because I love, <laughs> like I said, it just makes the most beautiful bows. So easy to work with. Okay, so we've got that. We are gonna add a mini glue dot behind that little baby and put that right there. I wanna just trim, cause this one looks a little, right, a little off kilter. There we go. And then lastly, 
I have a few of my gems left, the garden gems. These are um, a limited time only. You can see we've got a few. They say that these are cherry cobbler. I still see a lot of green in them too. I think they can kind of go whichever way you need them to. So these are larger, these are smaller, and this is like a teardrop. I believe soft succulent is the color of those. But we are just gonna use a couple, and I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, and just kind of add a couple of those little rhinestones, little um, garden gems to the side of my card. And that is it. So you can see how quick and simple, beautiful, what a, um, this packs a big punch, I would say, this card. And it's the designer series paper and just that little fun fold too, right? So quick, simple, easy. If you need to make more cards, this would be a great, um, you know, whatever designer series paper you have, whatever coordinating embossing folder, um, whatever label die, and then just add a little something to it. You got to add a little ribbon and a little bling if you have it, um, but you can keep it as simple or you could, you know, go crazy and do lots of different layering on there too with your sentiment. So I think just a great, simple, easy idea if that's what you need um, to get another holiday card made before it's um, before the holidays are officially here, right? Or over, I guess I should say, not here. They're definitely here, but maybe more like over, right? Okay, so we're gonna scoot these guys out of the way. I am going to uh, grab my chamois and we're gonna just clean. Oh, this maybe could, thought I just wet this, but um, looks like maybe I could. Hello, Miss Tracy. Sorry if this is wiggling a little bit. Let's see, we'll do that one and that one. I have to get the edge there too. There, okay. All clean, good to go. Now I can pack it back in my little tub and know I won't get ink all over everything. Okay, so that was project number one, again, featuring that Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. So we have another just simple, beautiful card to share with you. Again, I just had a ton of designer series paper, especially that painted Christmas designer series paper. And I love, I love just featuring the designer series paper. You could use, honestly, all of the patterns of this designer series paper, um, do something similar to this with a couple of pretty layers behind it, add a bow and one of your sentiments on some little label dies. Simple, simple, easy, right? So let me show you, and I think I did, yep, I stamped on the inside here too, again, with our Christmas season stamp set. We use this stamp and that one right there. And I thought those, again, really mirrored nicely, kind of coordinated beautifully with um, the designer series paper. Okay, so let's see, I need my red ink again. I grab that, those. Let me tell you about dimensions of things before I, I always worry I'm gonna forget to do that, okay. Mm. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is Evening Evergreen, one of our current in colors for our card base. I think you could also use Garden Green too, so whichever you have, there's a little bit of each Garden Green and Evening Evergreen in those sprigs, so whatever you have, just use that. Okay, so along the uh, eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our nice crisp fold on our card. Okay. Then we layered on the inside. Again, always pretty much I'd make this the four inches by five and a quarter inches. It goes on the inside of your card. And then on the outside, again, same idea, real red cardstock, four inches by five and a quarter inches. That's gonna layer right on there. And then our beautiful painted Christmas designer series paper. There's the backside. That's kind of a fun pattern also, right? Um, this one measures three and three quarters by five inches. And then I just have a couple of extra scrap pieces of basic white and real red to do our stamping and die cutting there, okay? so. Let's do our stamping and then we'll do our die cutting and then we'll put everything together. So on here, we're going to do our real red. Tis the season to be jolly. With this, let's see, we're gonna make sure, I guess it doesn't matter if it's upside down or not, right? <laughs> when I die cut it, we'll get that straightened out, okay? And then we have, oops, I'll just dip my finger in, <laughs> in my evening evergreen ink. I am going to grab my little scrap piece here, okay, 
So I know I'm gonna go off the edge. So we've got that one. I love these riggy things. And then that one right there, and that's so pretty. And then we're gonna add some little berries. I just kind of stamped them all around. So you guys saw that nice, easy tap, 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 right? And then you just press down, don't wiggle or rock. Okay, and there we go. So simple, right? But still, it's that designer series paper. Just makes everything so beautiful. Okay, let's do our die cutting and then we'll put things together. So we just have um, simple die cutting to do here with, let me grab my die cutting and embossing machine. Let's see, hello Sunday, how are you? You've been stuck at home for a while. I hope you're feeling okay. Crazy time for that right now, huh? Okay, um, let's see, labels. <laughs> oh, that is from, yeah. Okay, I was like, where's the one label? So these are, again, from the, um, what is it, the Hippo? I always want to say Rhino, the Hippo and Friends dies. So these fun labels right here, we're going to use this smallest one on our sentiment. And what is Nikki saying? Happy Christmas. Have a wonderful holiday. <laughs> Thank you. See you in a few weeks. Yes, absolutely. I hope you do have a great holiday as well, Miss Nikki. Okay, so we use that little label on our sentiment. And then with our layering circle dies, and I don't, I've pulled these out because I'm using them on another project. So we're using this one, <laughs> whatever this one I'm thinking, let's see, it looks like maybe uh, one, two, three, four, maybe the fifth smallest scallop edge die is what I'm going to say. Uh, yep. Oh, that just fits. I hope. <laughs> I should have grabbed a bigger scrap of real red cardstock, it seems, but I think we're going to be all right. Because you guys know um, most of them, the die cutting happens on the inside rather than the outside of the die. Wherever you feel the ridge is where it's going to do the die cutting. So there's the ridge right there. Instead of out here, it cuts it on the inside. So that's how I knew I was going to be all right. And then I love this one. Love the... Um, the shape of it and then the stitching too, right? You gotta love the stitching. Love, love, love that they keep doing that for us, adding more and more cute dies with stitching, right? Okay. We will scoop these babies out of the way. Oops, kind of got stuck there. Okay, I think, oh, because I have a little tiny bit of adhesive right there. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so. Where are we going? I'm like, where's my adhesive? We're gonna just put our label. This is what we're making. Again, hopefully you guys can kind of see what's going on here. That feels, it's funny, because there is like a backside. You can almost, can you guys, I don't know if you can see that or not. This, it, it's almost um, like this is uh, peeled down or back, like you want that on the um, backside. And then this is kind of rounded down and out, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but when you're a little bit anal like I am, sometimes those things, you notice them. And I want these to be right on the top and the bottom because the ribbon is going to go right through the middle and I want these secured on top and bottom there. Because what I have found is if I do it more on the sides, then it sticks to the ribbon and it kind of wiggles all over the place. And I don't really like that either. Okay, so we're going to add our adhesive, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. We're going to put that right on our real red. I have just a little bit of this red, the real red ruffled ribbon. Um, ribbon, you know, always just adds that little bit of beauty and texture. Love the texture that ribbon provides. You can see I'm still working as if it were on the bolt, though, because if you cut a little piece, oops, that didn't work very well. I need to make that tighter. Um, it's just kind of hard to work with. If you don't cut yourself enough, then you're kind of fumbling to make sure, you know, that you can make a pretty bow. So just keep it on the bolts. So you have lots of room to work. And then you can kind of always just say, kind of push it and pull it till you get it where you want. And then you just trim it. And we'll trim that one just a little bit there too. And there we go. So I'm going to just scoot that and I like to kind of curl that up because if not you can kind of rip the edges as you're trying to move your ribbon I think that looks pretty good there so now we are going to add this piece to oops excuse me to the outside of our card 
All right, we've got that one. Love that color combination. Isn't that beautiful? Let's go ahead and put this one on the inside so I don't forget it. Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back. I'm getting good at it, but I probably just jinxed myself. Let's see, there we go, okay. All right, peel off the back of our dimensionals. We are gonna pop that on right there. It is the season to be jolly. And then gotta finish it off with just a little bit of bling. We're just gonna add a couple of, these are the red rhinestones. Just gonna add those right on there. And that is it. So can you see how quick, simple, and easy it is to make beautiful cards? It really is all about that designer series paper. And then a fun stamp set with some fun sentiments in it, right? So quick, simple, easy ideas if you need to get a few more cards made. And obviously, whatever designer series paper, whatever label dies, whatever ribbon and sentiments you have, you can, your heart is, you know, you just make as many as you need, right? I'm thinking birthday cards. I always need more birthday cards. I'm gonna have to go find some birthday designer series paper and make more cards. Always, always, always need more birthday cards, right? So, okay, you guys, thank you so much. So very, very much for hanging out with me today. Sorry if I've been a little bit nutty. This whole screen is still sideways to me and <laughs> I just don't know what to do about it. But as long as it's fine for you guys, that's the most important thing. So, uh, let's see, quick recap, right? If you would like to order through me a minimum $30 order, if you use the host code, the ZV2TQP3H, you will get both of these projects as a thank you from me for your order. Your name will also, also go in the drawing to win either the Amaryllis A Bloom stamp set or the Candy Canes stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you also get to pick from December's free embellishment, which are those garden gems that we used on this card right here, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. 16 projects in here, lots of fun ideas for you. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd love to get these cards sent out as a thank you to you. I hope you have a most fabulous holiday Christmas with family, friends. Hopefully you just get to relax and enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, and oh, also don't forget, post your pictures of your ugly sweaters or your beautiful sweaters. I'd love to see those too. And your name will go in the drawing to win a fun free celebration product. So you guys, thank you so much. Again, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Um, I'm not even gonna say Happy New Year because we'll see you on December 31st, all right? And like I said, we'll be, wear your maize and blue. If you're a Michigan fan, wear your maize and blue with me on Friday, December 31st. All right, happy holidays. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye.